In this demonstration, we'll be creating this 3D model from a picture file. Now this will be done in ArtCam Pro, as it is the only product within the range that allows you to create 3D models. To start off with, we need to import an image from which to work from to start modeling. ArtCam Pro can open a whole variety of different image files. So we can import PDF files, bitmap, JPEGs, Illustrator files, whole range of different file types. In this case, we'll be opening an internet page and using the image from this. So here we have our internet page and we have our dragon here. Now this is the image which we'll be using to model. I can just grab the dragon and drag and drop it within ArtCam Pro itself. And I have the ability to then start to model from this dragon. To start to model the dragon, we could quite simply, within the 2D view, just double click on a color, assign a height and a shape to this, and select add. A much easier way to work is from the 3D view. Now first of all, we're going to create a second bitmap layer. And we're just going to join the red and the black together. If I go across to that 3D view, and I turn the color shade button on, I can actually view what I'm seeing from my bitmap images within the 3D view. I select this first bitmap layer here and double click on my red color, I can assign a height and a shape to this. So I could do a pyramid or a dome, and I could add any shape and any angle to this that I chose. If I select the add button now, we'll now see that the body of the dragon is slightly domed. Now currently, it doesn't have any definition within it at all. We can't see its eye or the scales or the shape of the wing. If we go back to bitmap layer one. Again, just double click on the red and assign the same dome shape to this. We can make this slightly higher if we chose. Select the add button. We can see that we've added some shape to the wings and some scales. To view this slightly better, we can actually turn the color shade button off and we can actually view exactly what we have modeled. If we turn it back on, we go back to our original bitmap laid across our 3D model. It should give us a nice visualization if we're creating a sign within this color. Now from this demonstration, you've seen how easy it is to actually import or drag in an actual bitmap image and actually start to just model this up using colors.